In the first episode of DAG Museum Stories, we will explore the curious case of the disappearing monument. The monument in question is seen here in this painting of Calcutta by Thomas Daniel. It's one of the many scenes that were painted by the Daniels on their travels around the new colony. The monument on the left, protected by a railing, was known as the Black Hole or the Holwell Monument. It has a highly controversial history. In 1756, Siraj ud laid siege to Calcutta and captured the British Fort William. His soldiers are supposed to have imprisoned 146 men and women in a dungeon overnight, killing over 120 of them. The monument was financed by John Zephaniah Holwell, who had survived the tragedy and made the story of this black hole tragedy popular. The monument in all its gravity stands in front of the writer's building that served as a residential office for junior clerks of the East India Company. The Daniels shows Indians out on the streets going about their everyday chores under its imposing shadow. Thirty years later, the Scottish artist James Bailey Fraser stands almost exactly at the same spot. The Black Hole Monument looks battered. The railing is gone, people huddle in its shade and a barber plies his trade under a makeshift canopy. The city is changing rapidly. The new Scottish Kirk of St. Andrew has come up in the meantime in the place of the old courthouse. Its steeple is visible on the horizon to our left, but the Holwell Monument in the foreground is set to pull off its first disappearing act. What happened to it? In 1821, the municipality thought that it was too dilapidated and the inscription of the names of victims of the tragedy had faded completely. They wanted to clear the road for traffic and so it had to be taken down. But that's not the last that we see of the monument. It reappears again in 1902 and this time it came with a revised list of names and an even taller obelisk. How did this happen? Find out in our next story. The monument returns in this postcard from the early 20th century. It was painted by Calcutta-born artist, the largely forgotten Frank Klinger Scalan, who did many scenes of Calcutta. The writer's building's facade has changed considerably too. When he served as the Governor-General and Viceroy of India, Lord Curzon came to know of the missing Black Hole Monument. He researched its history extensively with help from the Calcutta Historical Society and re-erected the monument. The monument was reconstructed as a reminder to Indians of their guilt and as a justification for the English occupation of India. Naturally, this offended nationalist sentiments. In the 1940s, Subhash Chandra Bose led a movement to demolish the monument. He was arrested for his efforts, but the government decided to remove the monument and placed it inside St. John's Church nearby so as to not provoke Indians further. You will find it there lying undisturbed, but we can never be sure as monuments have a way of disappearing and reappearing.